Right, video's continuing. Look at that amazing scene down there, look. Beautiful. Yeah, the video will be jumping and starting because of people. There's a lot of people. Coach loads. And they're, they're apparently, when it first opened, after the Da Vinci film, they had in one month enough people for like over a year visiting one month. But of course it has helped it, kept it going because of the um, revenue that it, uh, I was hoping it'd be a bit quieter because it's lunchtime now. So I've had my lunch. There's lots of history everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's a little bit of history. This thing in Littlefield. Yeah, it's a little place to sit there. There was a battle here, the Battle of Roslyn. There's a booklet on it, but I'll look it up online later on in the year when I get home, because I can't pay for everything. Because um, there's lots of gifts there, but it's so expensive. A cup, a China Grosling cup was 10 quid. And I think I've already bought myself a cup from somewhere else. <sighs> yeah, what have I bought? A pack of cards, Rosling cards. Um, some postcards. Um, a model, cut out model for the kids. But it's more for an adult, I think, to be quite honest. I might even keep it for myself yet. Um, <laughs> it looks quite complicated to make. Duncan would be good at it. Duncan would be good at that. Oh, there's so much to do. Look, there's a walk down there and a river. And a river down there as well. And I can see some of the wall there. Some of the foundations of the wall there. Of course, like a lot of places in Scotland, they there were lots of battles going on, a lot of destruction, a lot of uh, the ruins were used to build other people's houses as well. Um, well I'll probably have a look down there in a minute. I can't really do a video properly when there's people about, you see. You can't, you've got to be considerate of them as well. So, um, I'll carry on round. I've got a feeling this castle was here before the chapel, because there, there's a lot of battles going on in the early 12th century. And there we go, just zoom in a bit. This is Roslyn Castle, by the way. This is Sheila on the 17th of May 2014, visiting the Roslyn Chapel and Castle and Grounds. There's lots of walks in the Roslyn Glen. Yeah, that looks big, doesn't it? So this is high up. There's the village I want to look round as well. So you've got to be careful when you look over the edge. Right down there, look, there's a path. Yeah, so there's a path, so there's a path down there. Quite a long way down. It's sort of a tower thing there.
see these big holes here where they would have had the, the wooden poles would have gone in there. Markings on the walls, some soldiers sharpening their weapons up, that sort of thing. Dates, quite common on um, brickwork. Got a date over there, 1986. Somebody's carved in stone there. Where's it gone? Oh, I don't know. Can't find it now. Right. That's the trouble with this zoom thing. There it is. Carved into the base of that tower there. I'll take some photos in it. Oh, there's an old looking building as well. Private house, probably. Oh, yeah, there's more of it. All filled in now. It's pretty old though, that original holes. And there for for a gateway. Somebody might have had to stand here and guard in the past. Buildings there coming out. I'll take photos in a minute. Yeah, the Battle of Roslyn and the destruction of the castle. You see, Roslyn Chapel could have been built up with some of this. As well. More to it than Clare Castle, put it that way. But it has been repaired, as you can see, normal brickwork there. Yeah, you can see a bit of it over there through the trees. And then there's a house there. Pretty old, you can tell by the chimneys. You hear people down in the glen. Over and out. This is Sheila at Roslyn Castle.